What's up YouTube? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. What up my homies? Today is going to be a Valentine's Day tutorial. Um, I went the more smoky route. I still incorporated some pinks, so it's very like Valentine's Day appropriate. Let's just get into the tutorial. These braids make me look like I'm 14. Um, I mean like I already look 14, but these just like really send it home, you know? So what I have in mind is, um, I actually posted on my Instagram story this makeup look that I did yesterday and asked you guys if you wanted to see it and a lot of you said you would want to see it. I'm gonna be doing that today. First step is priming the skin. Guys, this is my freaking holy grail lately. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Booster Drops. It looks like so. Sorry if I'm looking at myself. I'm narcissistic and egotistical. I'll just kind of lather my skin in this this is just a saving grace for my skin because if you guys don't know I have really dry skin especially in the cold climate and the higher elevation my skin is just being sucked dry it also has glycerin in it so it will help your makeup stay on a little bit longer and also it gets really really tacky so just mind that but the tackiness does go away once it's like dried next I use the benefit professional pore primer um, I literally have a little sample size. I mean, like, I guess a pore primer really isn't necessary for me because, like, I have smaller pores. <laughs> Humble brag. <laughs> I really feel like this helps, like, with the creasing on my forehead because my forehead creases a lot. So I feel like it fills in, like, the fine lines. I don't know. I could be delusional. So, guys. This has been my go-to foundation ever since I bought it. It is so good. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 24-hour fresh wear foundation. The shade I have right now is 405 Porcelain. So I always shake it up really well because it is really liquidy. The thing about foundation is that like foundation never matches me, especially when I'm pale because I have like a really weird undertone. I really don't know what kind of undertone I have. This is like the closest matching foundation to my skin tone, so I kind of just deal with it. Um, I don't care if it doesn't match. You can come fight me because then I'm using this Real Technique sponge. I'm actually going to spray it with this L'Oreal Dew Mist. It's already damp, but really like this spray. I'll just use the rest and go down my neck. You guys, this concealer is so good. Um, it's another L'Oreal product. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. I don't know why I like blacked out. I have the shade 325 Eggshell. Maybe I'm a psychopath. Now that I look scary, um, I'm gonna <laughs> blend it out. Honestly, like, I put way too much concealer on. Like, who am I? I don't know. Oh my gosh, this was so much concealer. I need a, like, I need a. I know I made a mistake. You don't have to comment. Like, stop writing your comment right now. I know that there's something in my eye. Oh my gosh, this video is a mess. Y'all, look how good that coverage was. L'Oreal. I don't even know why more people aren't talking about this. It's literally a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. Like, um, oh yeah, this is the Jordana Sculpt and Go. Um, I have the shade O2 medium and then I'm just going to take this elf stipple brush and buff this out this is pretty much gonna be non-existent once I put the powder on it's the thought that counts though now I'm gonna be taking the Maybelline fit me powder in the shade 05 see this is why the contour like like doesn't make sense cuz like I really just patted it away I've been going over, like, after I do, like, that round of powder, oh my gosh, um, I go in with the Maybelline Press Powder, um, in the shade 110 Porcelain. I don't really know why I use this. Um, I use it with this e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. My face is fully powdered. I did not powder my eyelids, because 
um, when I do my eyebrows I have to clean them up with concealer and if there's already powder under it the concealer won't blend so that's kind of why I leave my eyelids untouched until it's time for the eyeshadow so I will go do my eyebrows off camera and I will be right back that was so sassy oh my gosh who am I eyebrows done um they actually look dare I say good I mean like you guys know if you've ever watched any of my videos like I just I am so hard on myself about my eyebrows because I just never like them but they look pretty good like not gonna lie so what I used for my eyebrows is the Anastasia dip brow pomade in ebony and the morphe clear brow setting gel brow setting gel um, this brow setting gel is so good like I love it and then I just put some concealer on my lids and set it with my Maybelline loose powder but first we're gonna do the face makeup um, so it can bake well you know we get the party started on a, a don't know where I was going with that but it wasn't looking too good for bronzer I'm using the physicians formula butter bronzer I'm with my f510 and just gonna start bronzing up the skin um, also I've been into like bronzing my jaw line even though I don't have a jaw um, to bronze but I have just been into this lately so leave me alone this has been like a rough area for me like the nose contour lately cuz like I just can't do it I really need like a good nose contouring brush but I don't own one. I just own this like Eco Tools one. So I do the best with what I have. Wait, why does that not look bad though? And then, because it's Valentine's Day, I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring, but with a different bronzer. I don't really have a contouring powder, so don't clock me. This is the Anastasia Rosewood bronzer. It's just a little bit deeper. This is like such a bomb bronzer. Like, if you guys are like looking like a good like higher end bronzer higher end for me at least because you know college student I'm broke <laughs> um, this is a really nice one obviously you can tell I've used it like a lot I only use it on my cheekbones just to like deepen it up a little bit um, even though it looks like I put mud on my face I'm gonna go over that's like the natural contour of my face or at least where the shadow hits so then I just connect it and like that's like kind of what I assume my cheekbone is looks kind of low if you ask me whatever I don't care doesn't look even but you know what just gonna take this makeup off at the end of this video I'm not gonna go party or anything like that not that I do party what am I talking about <laughs> look ridiculous ew whatever you know what I don't I don't even care. <laughs> this is the Physicians Formula Butter Blush. This has been like my go-to blush, mainly because it's like the only full-size blush I own. So, <laughs> um, with this E4, um, and I'm gonna kind of really load it on here, cause like it's Valentine's Day, like everything's gonna be pink, you know. Like <laughs> now for the eyes, I'm using the James Charles Times Morphe palette. Oh, Morphe Times James Charles palette. <sighs> gonna first be taking this M573 blending brush I'm gonna go in with the shade punch me which is the shade that I always always use I really like this as a transition shade I really don't want to hold the palette up every time I announce a shade oh, this palette's huge then I'm gonna go in with this M433 looks so dirty because it is and then I'm gonna go in with the shade no beans I'm a blending queen I know my m504 doesn't have anything on it and just buff the edges I'm gonna take the black shade, which is called Spooky. <sighs> Has some pink eyeshadow on it. I'm taking this M M432, and I'm going to like smudge it on my lash line. Ew. 
and if you do experience fallout with any palette that the palette that you're using um, I would recommend like putting some bake underneath Um, I'm not really gonna blend it out. I'm kind of just gonna kind of leave that and then I'm going to take this M506 With the same black shade only a little bit though, and I'm going to start putting it in the outer V And connecting it to the eyeliner just on the outside of my eyelid I love like smoky sultry like eyeshadow looks like they just really get to me, you know? <laughs> um, now I'm going to take this M124 and the shade Literally, which is like a pinky coral color. This is the closest thing to, that I have to a shimmery pink. I really just stabbed one of these eyeshadows. And then I'm just going to put it on my lid, like above the eyeliner. If you cover it, like that's completely fine like you can just go back and put it replace it <laughs> I'm gonna do a lower lash line which is literally gonna be the same eyeshadow just except the coral <gasps> Tom Holland tweeted if y'all don't know I'm still obsessed with him okay now I'm gonna add lashes and mascara I'll be right back. I used the Arson Lashes in the style D28. I will have a link down below for them. So I'm going to wipe off my bake. Now I'm going to spray my face. I always spray my face um, before I do my bottom lashes because, you know, you don't want them to like bleed or anything. Um, I'm spraying my face with the L'Oreal 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 Dew Mist. Guys, this is so good. I ran out of my Morphe Prep and Set or um, Continuous Setting Spray. Um, yesterday so this is honestly just as good like the mist is really sorry the mist is really fine and I really really like it um, so I'm gonna do that um, and then my trick I've mentioned this on my channel before um, is I take my sponge and I just go over everything Can y'all hear my neighbors? Then I will do highlight. This is the Jeffree Star Peach Goddess highlighter. These highlighters are so good. Even though I only own one. Um, and it's kind of a little bit too dark for me. But I'm going to go with it. And this brush is the Y14. Such a good highlighting brush. Like, Going to spray my face again. And then pat it again. This is mainly to like make sure the highlight like blends nicely into like my blush and bronzer. Yeah, I'm gonna use the shade Sister. Is that? Yeah, this is Sister. It's like a really like light pink color. So I'm gonna put that on my inner corner and brow bone. This is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Calabasas. I feel like this is the perfect color for Valentine's Day. Even though it doesn't really match the eyes because they're kind of more peachy. Um, still like really like festive, you know? And I'm going to go in with this MAC lipstick in the shade Honey Love. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm just going to rub it on my finger. And like wait why is that cute wait that is the completed look guys hopefully you enjoyed this I wanted to do like this route because I know like not everybody wants to wear like a pink glitter cut crease like I mean like I would <laughs> but I feel like this is more like like smoky sexy sultry ew i hate the word sexy i feel like i'm 12. <laughs> i don't know i really just like this makeup look for valentine's day i feel like it's very appropriate and fitting hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did like comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos and i will see you guys in my next video bye